I could go tomorrow and find out what were the sale, apple sales by farmers last year in New York. Yeah, you can get that. What you can't get easily, you know, on the internet is how farmers in this case spend that money. How much of those sales do they put towards their labor force, towards their various expenditures, and where they spend it? In this particular case, we were fortunate because we have a pretty strong Cornell Cooperative Extension system, a program. The Lake Ontario Fruit Team works with apple growers primarily. They collect a lot of that data. So we were able to utilize that sort of information to get our analysis very specific to New York. And in fact, when you look at the results, if I say use the secondary data that I can buy versus the data that I collected and use, we actually under, would understate total impacts by nearly 20% if I just used the existing average representative secondary data, which is pretty huge. I mean, it actually surprised me how much of a difference it would make. If I'm the New York Apple Association trying to understand the contribution we make to our economy, I don't really care you know, what tomato processors are doing, right? You want that specificity. By and large, people just want to have confidence in their numbers, right? The problem is it takes a lot of time, takes a lot of cost to do that primary data collection on your own. Those types of numbers are really important to organizations like the Apple Association. They're also very important to people in Albany, uh, understanding what these sort of generative effects of industries are.